Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday. I'm like clapping. I was like, oh, is that too loud? Clapping. So happy to be here, guys. I'm just so excited. Happy, happy Friday. What a beautiful Friday. Oh, it's fall. It's like kind of happening. It's getting like a little bit breezier and cooler around here. I got to mow my lawn just a little bit ago. My son Kate has been doing that for me. Um, but it's always good to get out there every once in a while and kind of take a look around and see what he's missed, which maybe there was a thing or two. But anyway, so yes, welcome. Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. So glad to be here. Um, yeah, like, oh my gosh, September is here. There's so much good stuff happening. Every time I pop on the Stampin' Up! website, I'm like, oh, okay, now, like, there's more, there's more, there's more. So got lots of good stuff to tell you guys about today. I'm watching. There's Sally. I like see eyeballs, but I haven't seen any names yet. So hello, Miss Sally. Well, Welcome. So let's see, we are going to have some fun today with our product of the week, which is actually the entire, hello, Miss Philomena, the um, Snowflake Splendor Suite. So I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, more of those products as we use them, but I'll just kind of feature the, the bundle that's part of the suite. So the Snowflake Wishes stamp set, which I always love these beautiful snowflakes. They do such a good job too. You know, we have snowflake stamp sets you know every other year or so I don't even know how often but they do such a good job of like making them different every single year which is so fun and then they have great sentiments in this particular stamp set like let me see I probably can't even read them backwards can I snowflake wishes for a merry Christmas thank you snow much I think that's cute right our friendship is one of a kind <laughs> Sally you're ready for me to twist your arm awesome I can do that today I'm sure um let's see in the coldest moments of the year my heart is warm because you're near so that's that one right there and then may your season sparkle oh thank you Philomena I just got it caught yesterday yeah I'm like feeling it's like kind of bouncy and fun so I'm hoping I can figure out how to keep it up right I don't know I'm like curl it every day we'll see but thank you that's sweet of you to say I'm kind of I had some fun with it today too I wasn't sure because today was my first day doing it and like ah, oh, you know how when you get your hair done like you're not sure if you're gonna be able to do it as great as she did it which I didn't, but I did an okay job. So anyway, so then also part of that bundle we have, I'm gonna try to lift this up. I haven't put the little black uh, magnetic things on here yet, but these are the Snow Mini Snowflakes dies. So we've got a bunch of beautiful, this is kind of like um, a label with some pretty snowflake cutouts and then a couple of snowflakes there and then even more snowflakes there. Yes, hello, Miss Becky. So glad you can join us live today. So they've got some cutout ones and then some details one. Miss Marge, welcome. Yay, so many people on today. Probably a lot of people maybe are off because of the holiday coming up, right? With Labor Day weekend coming um, late this year too, right? Yeah, it's really late. Um, but that's fun, right? Hey, Sharon. Hello. Welcome. So yeah, so yeah, we're going to be uh, playing with this suite of products later on. I've got lots of good stuff to show you related to it also. So, but in the meantime, I want to give you guys some reminders. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Sharon. We have, oh, so one of the things that I saw, hello, Zara, welcome, I'm so glad you can be on here. <laughs> and Anna, yes, you can catch a live today, I know, like good holiday weekend, I love it, love it, love it. So um, one of the things that's happening is, Nikki, welcome, hello, clearance rack has been updated. It was a couple of days ago, so there's probably already stuff that sold out, but if there's something, you know, hop on there, the big thing is don't wait. If you see something on the clearance rack that you want, get in there, get your online order in like right away. Oh, awesome. Yes, you got all this good stuff. Very cool, Anna. So hopefully I'll give you some fun ideas of things that you can make today with those, with the um, Snowflake Wishes bundle, right? Um, so yeah, clearance rack. Make sure you pop on over there. Just go to stampinup.com. Use my host code. Um, I have a new host code for September. It is on my blog and I will give it to you in just a little bit. So you can always find it at Gathering Ink with a K. So gatheringinspiration.com. So check that out there. Um, but yeah, clearance rack. They had like a ton of punches I was like shocked at how many punches they had on there awesome like cardstock and designer series paper embellishments lots and lots of good stuff but don't wait if you see something you want order it ASAP because that stuff is all like while supplies last so when it's gone it's gone so um, and Philomena thank you for sharing the video I appreciate that too um, oh the other awesome thing there's like, like like I said so much good stuff they surprised us with another starter kit deal so if you have been thinking about getting the starter kit and maybe you missed the last deal we have another deal for you so this one and I want to make sure I get it right so we always 
well in general i can't say always because stampin up is always changing things too but you in general right now especially you get to pick 125 dollars in product so for example you could get the new stampin what is it called? The stamp and cut and emboss machine. You could basically order your new die cutting and embossing machine in your starter kit. So right there, you get an awesome deal. I just set this down. Um, it's not super heavy, but it's not something you don't want to be like lifting it a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, so you could get that plus like another little something in your starter kit because you get to pick $125. That new stamp and cut and emboss machine is $120. So you can get a little something else in there too. But the best part is you only pay, nine, pay $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee, which is normally 10% of your order, or a minimum $6.95 is waived. So you get like, that's awesome right there, right? You get a bunch of free stuff because you only pay $99, no shipping, um, just sales tax. Then plus, this is the other part of the special deal right now. You get all of the supplies to make 16 cards. So they give you the card bases. And then I believe they give you all the other parts and pieces to make. Um, there are, I think, four different cards. They're featuring two stamp sets that they're gonna give you, and I'm gonna show you guys those in just a second. Um, but they also give you like instructions on how to like make a card. And then the idea is you'll have all the supplies so you can actually like run your first class or event. Cause I know that's something that people struggle with. You know, not everybody wants to do classes and events, but maybe if you do, this is a great starter kit deal to get because you get all the parts and pieces already all cut and ready to go, like in little kits, basically. And then you also get these two stamp sets. So you get the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. So this was one I actually gave away a few weeks ago on Facebook Live. So you get this stamp set in your starter kit, and then they give you two projects that you can make with this stamp set. And then I don't have the other one, so I'm gonna show you in the catalog. This is the So Much Love stamp set. Hello, Miss Debbie. Um, you also get this stamp set, the So Much Love. I wanna say snow, <laughs> but it's So Much Love stamp set, as well as a package of rhinestones. And again, actually with the So Much Love stamp set, they give you two more card projects that you can make with that stamp set and then you can add on some bling too um, but they tell you exactly like how to put the cards together too so you make one yourself and then you've got all the supplies to run your first class or event too so that's very cool right some like kind of a different spin instead of just more free product you get some free product and then tools that you can actually use to run your first class or event so if you have any interest in getting the starter kit i would love to have you be a part of our inspired stampers team we have an awesome team of demonstrators really all across the country. So even if you're not local, I do still um, support you long distance as well. Obviously we've got phone call and text and email. We have a separate Facebook group where we post on there. Um, we have business challenges, creative challenges. Um, we do swapping, like we actually mail cards in and I mail them back out to you. We have a team meeting once a month that I do on our Facebook Live. So that'll keep you kind of engaged and motivated and energized as well. So it's basically a great group to be a part of. So if you have any interest in joining the inspired stampers and getting that awesome starter kit deal let me know or if you have any questions let me know too okay so we'd love to have you it's all month long too so through the whole month of september you can get that starter kit deal okay and i was just shocked because we we've kind of scaled back on doing our starter kit deals so we did one back in june and so i figured we weren't going to have another one until celebration and then whoop guess what we have one right now in september so that was fun it was just like i said i hopped on the website and i wasn't expecting all these fun things going on for us um, so the other cool thing though, right, is your stamp and cotton emboss machine. You can order this. So if you have not done that yet, if you have not ordered your new die cutting and embossing machine, then I have to like spin it around because it's just so pretty. So this is the top of it. I'm trying not to like lose it though, right? I just love the like sleek white, like crisp clean design. And then these you guys have seen, right? The platform just folds out on either end. So you've got that one. And then you've got that one so you can kind of see it, right? And then you've got the handle plus the beautiful Stampin' Up! logo on there too, right? I'm trying to be careful because I would just cry if I dropped this thing. Um, it's really meant to be down on the table, let me tell you. But anyway, awesome that we can all, so not even just as demonstrators, everybody can order their new Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine right now. Plus, I believe you can order the magnetic plate, which I don't have yet. I need to get on and get that ordered. Um, they give you everything else, all the other plates that you need. I feel like there's one other thing. 
I don't know, it's on my list. There's something else that we couldn't order as demonstrators, but we can now. So you can order everything except, let me say, let me back that up. The mini, the mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine is not available yet. And they're gonna let us know. I think as demonstrators, we can order that maybe more toward the end of the year. So forget about that one right now. Just have fun, get your new um, Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine and play with that um, and have some fun. Hello, Miss Danielle, thank you. <laughs> uh, and you got the magnetic plate, good. I'm, that's awesome. I can't wait to get mine too, because I think Sharon, you were the one that was saying that um, you heard that like the dies aren't supposed to like, you know, skip like, you know, when you put them on the magnetic plate, how they kind of like jerk away. So hopefully that's the case. That would be really cool. If, like as soon as you set it on there, it doesn't move. That would be, that would be like a good upgrade for our magnetic plate. That's for sure. So I'll keep you posted on that or maybe Sharon can keep us posted. Um, actually, Sally, the old stuff will work. I have been using my magnetic plate with the old um, stamp and cut and about, or the new, yeah, the old magnetic plate with the new die cutting machine. The one thing though, I think they say like you're really not supposed to, so I probably shouldn't even be saying that I'm doing that um, because I don't know if, you know, there's maybe a little bit difference in the thickness that you could like mess up your machine or something. So, you know, of course they really want you to get all the new stuff. And honestly, if that magnetic plate is really as good as they say it is, I'm gonna be getting it and you're gonna want it too. So I'll keep you posted on that. But all the other plates you get already with it anyway, so there's really not too much to invest in there anyway. Just get more dies, right? So you can have more fun playing with with all of that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do our first drawing. I think we're ready to do that, yeah. So, yeah, I see Philomena shared already. So thank you for the shares of last Friday's Facebook Live video. So everybody that shared, your name is in the little Stampin' Up! basket right here. If you're new to me and just sign up for my email list, your name is in here also. And what are you guys gonna, um, what's, what are you gonna win? Wh whoever gets their name to pick, you guys are going to win. Hello, Susan, welcome. Uh, the awesome, I love, these are the in color enamel dots in our fun um, new colors, right? So thank you, hello. Yes, Susan, thank you for the share as well. So your name will be in here next Facebook Live video as well. I think you're, you shared last week too. So yes, Sally, go ahead and look into it. That is a good plan. All right, so here we go. We are drawing for shares and um, new signups to my email list. One lucky winner will receive those in color enamel dots and they go to, let me make sure, oops, I had one name and then it fell out of my hand. Miss, ooh, Debbie Britland, who she just signed up signed up for my email list. That's fun, because I don't get too many new um, signups to my email list, because I, I have a good amount of people. You guys, probably everybody that watches has already signed up, so you can only sign up once. So then you just have to share, right? But Debbie just signed up for my email list. So Debbie, I do not have your mailing address, I don't believe. I will check that out, um, and if you're watching, please send me just Facebook message, um, email me your mailing address so I can get your little dots mailed out to you. So congratulations, Debbie Britland. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna scoot those aside. So next Facebook Live, oh, let's see, let me dump these out. I'm gonna get rid of those there. We'll just put those right there. Okay, so the next Facebook Live that we do, we will be drawing for the Absolutely Argyle embossing folder. So every time you comment, not comment, every time you share the Facebook Live video, and if you sign up for my email list, if you have not done that already, your name's gonna go in the drawing for the Absolutely Argyle embossing folder on our next Facebook Live. So this is a good one, like great for like masculine cards, um, which we always need more of, right? So, all right, I'm already getting dry throat. I gotta get a sip of water. One sec, ladies. I don't know why I feel like I have to do that off camera. I guess partially because the water bottle is like not near me, <laughs> right? So I have to scoot away. All right, so, okay, I have some fun new, do I wanna tell you guys about that yet? Sorry, I gotta check my notes. Actually, hold on, nope. Let's talk about, so the next drawing that we're gonna do is um, for online orders that were put in between last Friday and this Wednesday at midnight, this past Wednesday at midnight. So I've got names in the drawing. <laughs> You're sharing 100 times. Okay, Sally. <laughs> that Okay, I'll have to write your name on here 100 times, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so. In here now, I have names in my basket. If you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is in here. You are automatically going to receive. Now, I don't think I can send um, the chocolates. You're gonna have to 
provide your own chocolate, but I will send mainly because too, because I don't want this thing to get totally crushed because um, I'm just going to send it in a regular envelope. So I will send this to you kind of um, flat, basically. So you have to kind of fold it up. You guys know how to put these things together, right? So I'll send you those pieces and you can finish kind of putting it together. But yeah, anybody that put an order in is going to get these two projects right here. And then your name is also in the drawing to win the dainty diamonds embossing folder from last week, okay? If you bumped your order up to $50, you got um, either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which actually for September, um, for uh, August was actually the In Color Dots, but now for September, you can get a package of the Iridescent Pearls. So either one of these, when you bump your order up to $50. And I'll actually show you, so this is the project that I made that is included in our September 2020 the demo design dream team pdf tutorial so isn't this beautiful so this is that die that i was showing you that does kind of the label cut out and then like the snowflakes kind of around it and then i added some more beautiful the balmy blue glimmer paper those snowflakes also so that project is in our demo design dream team pdf tutorial yours free with a 50 dollar order the whole month of september so let's see if i can I kind of show you? I guess you guys can kind of get an idea, right? There's my card. We've got some others, lots of good ideas in here. Color, full color, step-by-step, -step, everything you need to know to make 16 different projects. Yours free with the $50 order, or you can choose the um, iridescent pearls. These are kind of part of the Halloween um, suite in our catalog, but I think you can have lots of fun with these things because you can look at all the Kind of hard to see but they're actually really pretty like the pinks and blues and greens that iridescent kind of um, color comes out when when the sun hits them so those are fun so um yeah let's do our drawing now for the dainty diamonds embossing folder so again this is for online orders from last week okay i've got names in the drawing here and we have a one lucky winner and it goes to Miss Monica Talbot. Congratulations, you have been um, so sweet, Monica, ordering lately. So thank you very much. I appreciate your order. I appreciate every single online order, truly. That's why I send you those projects um, to say thank you, right? And then Monica will also receive the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So Monica, I will get this sent out to you along with those projects. Um, okay. I'm trying to stay organized, ladies. You guys know I'm always I'm always trying, always always trying. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. I'm trying to put those right there. Okay, so I have some more fun news. I think I told you guys maybe last week, right? That so huh, can I even say this? My fiftieth birthday is coming up on September thirteenth. So it's next weekend, next Sunday, and I've decided basically I'm going to do something fun and new and different for the month of September. So. This is the deal. I am gonna give away a stamp and cut and emboss machine in celebration of my 50th birthday because I'm trying to stay positive, right? About like turning 50. When I went to get my hair cut the other day, I was telling the gal that I was turning 50. She's like, how do you feel about that? Because she's probably like mid twenties or something. So yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm trying to stay positive. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's no big deal. Um, but you know, yeah, it, it's 50, it is a big deal, right? So I thought because it's such a big deal, we're gonna have to give one of these babies away, right? So this is how it's gonna work. Stamp and cut in a boss machine, one lucky person will win. You, this is how you get your name in that drawing. So instead of doing like a giveaway every single week for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna give that stamp and cut in a boss machine away. The very first, it's gonna be, did I write it down? It's gonna be the first Friday of Facebook Live in October, because I want that to run the whole month of September as basically this, the birthday, the 50th birthday celebration, right? So for every $50 you spend between now and September 30th, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? I will ship it directly to you. The other way, well, actually, let me back it up. So if you spend $50, you're gonna get your name in the drawing one time. If you spend $100, you're gonna get the name in the, your name in the drawing two times. If you spend um, $150, you're gonna get your name in the drawing three times. So for every $50 increment that you spend with me 
online between now and September 30th, your name goes in the drawing to win that stamp and cotton emboss machine. The other thing that you can do is you can buy the starter kit. Just buy the starter kit and your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that stamp and cut and emboss machine. Again, right? So all month long as kind of my 50th birthday celebration. Like I said, trying to stay positive. I thought, why not? Like, let's give one of these babies away. I've been having so much fun with it. And if you don't have it yet, I know you will have so much fun with it as well. So let me know if you guys have any questions on that. Hello, Miss Abby. <laughs> oh, let's see. Wait, hold on. I see, I see a nice comment. Oh, <laughs> you look, she says, she says, you look damn good for 50. <laughs> you don't look like it at all. Thank you, Sally. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's very sweet. Very sweet. I feel like it some days though, like my back, when I go bend over to pick up stuff, I'm like, oh, old lady, I can't, I can't move the way I used to, but it happens, right? So, okay. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions on that, right? But for every $50 you spend, and if you buy the starter kit, your name goes in the drawing. We're going to go all month long. And then the first Friday in October um, of Facebook live, that's when we're going to draw for that baby. Okay. So kind of with that being said in conjunction, sorry, I have to scroll up, make sure I'm not missing any more comments. Um, Next Friday, I'm going away. We're going up to Mackinac Island for the weekend for my birthday. Um, my sister and her husband and kids and my myself and my kids and another friend of mine are all going to be going um, up north for the weekend. So I'm not going to be doing Facebook Live because I'm kind of like doing this whole 50th birthday like fun kind of like middle of the week next week we're starting so i just decided i'm not i'm not stressed out about facebook live we're, we're gonna not do it next week and then we'll be back the following friday so um let's see if we're the fourth the 11th so we'll be back on the 18th so september 18th we'll be back doing facebook live so we're just skipping next friday okay um so yeah and i will tell you too if you guys um you know if you want to send me a birthday card i love to receive birthday cards and the other fun thing is i want to share them i want to share them on our facebook live on september 18th so if you want to send a birthday card i'm going to give you my my mailing address and just so you know if you subscribe to my email list it's at the very bottom of every single email that that i send so my ma mailing address is 209 east superior street Okay, so again, 209 East Superior Street, and that's in Alma, A-L-M-A, -A, Michigan, which is abbreviated M-I, and our zip code here is 48801. And my phone number is always on there too. I'll give you guys that, because I know I always like to tell you, call me, text me if you have questions. My number, 989-330-0259. And you can text, I don't, it doesn't matter to me when you text. If I can't answer you, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I know some people have like office hours and stuff, and I just don't live that way. I love the flexibility of being able to work whenever whenever I want, which is truly the best part about this is stamping up a job and business. So, oh, you're going up right now to Mackinac. Very cool. Oh yeah, the bridge walk was canceled this year, wasn't it, Anna? And now it says Seymour. I would love to see what else you're saying. Maybe I'll, let's see, can I, if I click Seymour, what happens as long as it doesn't go away? Yeah, you are. You will enjoy the trip. Absolutely. There's so much good stuff. We're going to rent bikes. That's my big thing. I love to bike ride. So I'm like, people, be prepared. We're on our bikes all day long. So we'll just like tool around and, you know, stop and check out stuff and shop and eat and whatever. So it'll be fun. I'm super excited about it. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, no Facebook Live next Friday is kind of the point of that, right? Okay, so I'm checking my notes, but I think we are ready. So I have all these like fun things I'm giving away because now we are gonna do the drawing for the super summer giveaway, okay? I've been telling you guys about this like on and off all summer long. Let me clear some space here because I gotta stay organized so I make sure I get everybody their gifts, right? Okay, so what are we gonna do first? Well, let me tell you guys how... Um, how, how could you have gotten your name in here, right, all summer long? Hold on, let's just make sure. Yep, okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, 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 I am organized, I really am. All right, so Super Summer Giveaway ran all summer long, basically from June 1 to August 31, and these are all the ways, and I'll show you. So I've got another little, I have all these cute little bags, right? Uh, yes, love biking on the island too. It's my favorite thing because you can't drive your bike or drive your car, right? Um, and I would love to just, I always love to bike ride. That's like my next life. I'm going to bike ride everywhere I go because I'm going to live somewhere warm enough that you can do that. And I'm going to have like a life of leisure where it doesn't matter if it takes you a while to get anywhere. <laughs> you know, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, okay. So in, in this bag, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, 
So I have um, my bunch, I don't wanna dump it out, right? But we've got tons and tons and tons of names. So this is like just a few of them, right? So I made these fun little tokens. Actually, Lily made them for me. She punched them and then she stamped my Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio stamp on there. And then we put names on the back of all of them, right? So this is how you got your entries in this drawing all summer long. If you an attended an event at the stamp studio, you got one entry. Two entries for every $50 you spend, that was um, locally and online. Two entries every time, hello, Miss Monica, you posted a picture of a project like I made on Facebook Live using that hashtag, super summer giveaway. So I went back through and any post that anybody made and used that hashtag, your name is in here, two entries. If you brought a new guest to class, you got two entries in the drawing. If you joined a club, including paper, pumpkin, or in color club, you got three entries in the drawing. If you bought the starter kit, probably back in June during that last starter kit deal, right? You got five entries in the drawing and another five entries if you held a private part of your class uh, down at the stamp studio. So lots and lots of entries in here. So I'm gonna shake these up and I have my whole list of things. Let's see, you know what I need to do? I wanna grab, I'm gonna, no, I don't need to grab a pen because I'm gonna put the names right next to who won what. I can do that, yeah. I just don't wanna mix anything up, right? That'd be bad. Okay, but so let me show you guys, what do we wanna give away first? Let's do, what to do, what to do, what to do. We're gonna do this one. This is the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder. So this is one from the holiday catalog. I have some from the holiday and some from the annual catalog, these prizes. Okay, so this is the first one we're gonna give away. And let's see, okay. So can you hear that? Like shake, shake, shake. There are so many names in here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull one token out. Miss Pam in North Carolina. What's it like in North Carolina? Is it still really hot for you guys? Our weather has cooled down a lot here. Lot, lot, lot. Okay, so I have one ticket goes to Miss Pam Facting. All right, congratulations, Pam. I will get you your new evergreen embossing folder. Okay, I'm gonna set those right there so I don't get anything mixed up. Okay, so next we're gonna give away, I love, this is the such fun, the cute fruit stamp set. Beautiful, fun, super, super duper cute stamp set, right? Okay, so. I feel like I'm, I'm like so excited I'm shaking the table, which is then shaking the um, camera, which is not good, right? Hot, yes, it is still, huh? Okay, yeah, you guys probably, probably what is October? Is that a good month for you guys down there when it cools down maybe? Okay, let's see. We have the next winner. Oh wait, yeah, I did show you the cute fruit. I was like, wait a minute, did I say what we're gonna give away? The cute fruit stamp set goes to Miss Hope Shaw. All right, congratulations, Hope. I will get that stamp set to you. Next, let's give away, I feel like my necklace keeps winging all over the place. Let's, what do we wanna give away next? Let's give away, um, we're gonna do this one. The This is the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. So this is a beautiful ribbon, might be great like for holiday projects. It's from the holiday catalog. Yes, so about October, huh? Okay, that's good. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see who the winner is of the red sheer ribbon. Beautiful ribbon. Oh my gosh, so many. I'm trying to get them all tossed around so I'm not picking from the same spot each time. Okay, yeah, okay, I got two in my hand. I gotta get one. <laughs> there we go, I work really hard at this. Miss Rose, congratulations, Rose Castellan is the winner of the red sheer ribbon. All right, Rose, I will get you your ribbon you as well. All right, we got three more prizes. We are halfway there. Okay, what do we want to do? Let's do, we're going to do, this is the bundle, the Hippo Happiness Bundle. So not only do you get the awesome dies that, that will die cut your hippo and friends, but you also get all those label dies in here too. So this awesome a prize goes to, they're all awesome, right? But that's a big one. That's a really big one. Okay, so this one goes to... Who's the winner? All right, let's see. I got one. No, I got about five. I got to pare it down. I got to get one in my hand. And it goes to Miss Cheryl Hall. All right, congratulations, Miss Cheryl. I will get you your new bundle right out to you. Okay, two more prizes left. This one, these are those iridescent pearls. I love these things. Um, obviously, I do, right? Because I'm giving them away in lots of different ways. So those are kind of the Halloween-y pearls. I think actually they would go really well with that Snowflake Splendor Suite too, the, um, that whole 
the iridescent look is really good with the um, with the snowflakes too. So okay, shaking these around, and the next winner is Miss Chastity Savage. All right, congratulations, Chastity. I will get you your pearls. Uh, the next time I see you actually in town too. Okay, so one more last prize. One of my favorites coming up. This is perfect time of year. The mini, that glare is really bad, but these are the mini curvy keepsake box dies. I wish I would have brought um, something out made with those. Those are the cute little, it's like the little thing that kind of folds up like two sides and two sides and there are little notches so you can kind of lift it open and get your little treat out without like breaking it. We used to have a big one and now this is the mini version of it. I love both of them. I love the big one because I love that you didn't have to like you didn't have to tear apart your box. You could just like lift it open and pull your little Hershey Kisses out or whatever you want to put in there. So this is going to be great right for Halloween projects, for fall treats, for Christmas treats, Thanksgiving time. Uh, New Year's, they're great for like little party favors to put like, you know, at place settings, have some fun with it. Yes, so love those fun little dies. Okay, so that's the last one and it goes to, I'm so trying to shake these up. Okay, so one left. Do I have one? I feel like I have two. I have two, now I have one. Goes to Miss Sue Beatty. All right, congratulations, Sue. You are the winner of the new mini Kirby Keepsake box dies. All right, so I will email everybody also too, so that everybody knows, you know, in case you're not watching on the Facebook Live, you'll know that you're a winner and that I'll be getting these sent out to you. So congratulations, ladies, and thank you so much for your support of my business basically all summer long. That's one of the fun ways that I say thank you for your support is through that super summer giveaway drawing. So thank you, ladies. I appreciate every single one of you and all that you do to support me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we are moving on. I want to give just quick reminders about the retreats coming up, and then we're going to do our stamping, okay? So the weekend retreat comes up on October 23rd through the 25th, and I know like people are finally starting to kind of think about that, and we are doing them. We talked to the hotel about the weekend retreat. We are doing the one-day retreat also. So again, weekend retreat, you guys are all so sweet with your congratulations too, is October 23rd through the 25th. Don't forget, if you sign up by September 21st, which is coming up in a few weeks, you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. Final RSVP and payment are due by October 2nd for the retreat on 23rd through the 25th of October, okay? Then our one-day retreat, we are running on November 14th, that's right here in Alma, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You get a free gift if you sign up and pay by October 16th, and last day to RSVP is October 30th. I've been emailing about those. I'm happy to forward that info to you. If you need more info, if you have any questions, call, text, email me. I'm happy to answer those questions. We will be practicing social distancing Sorry, my throat's getting really dry. Um, you know, the tables will be at least six feet apart. We will wear masks when we are like up and walking around the room. When you're at your table, you do not have to wear your mask. That's all, look, those are the rules as of this minute. Things could change, but that's how we're planning for things right now. We'll have, you know, hand sanitizer, wipes, and all that stuff to kind of clean things off, like the make and take tables and places where it's kind of more of a community kind of a feel. So we'll be doing everything we can to stay safe, but we're also gonna have an awesome time. We, I love to spoil you feed you all day long so all you get to do all you have to do is craft and play and have fun and chat with your friends right or listen to music and don't talk to anybody if that's what you want to do <laughs> however you want to be that day or that weekend that's what you get to do so if you have any questions let me know all right okay i think we are yeah we're ready to flip this camera down and i am going to show you some fun projects and i'm going to get another sip of water because my throat is so dry, but let's see, here we go. I'm gonna put the host code down here. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Actually, I want my grid paper too, though, don't I? Okay, here we go, getting organized. It's funny, the kids don't have school today, and I've seen so many people out like riding their bikes and stuff. It's kind of like, you know, I keep looking out my window, like, what's going on out there? What am I missing out on? Okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We are flying through the air, and we, were gonna, we are gonna play, ladies. Got some fun stuff to show you. All right, that feels like it's leaning way down. Sorry, let's just adjust this a little bit before I flip the camera. 
Okay. Oh, yes. So that's the other thing that happens this time of year, right? The sun is getting a little bit lower in the sky or like angled or something. So we're going to start getting our glares. That's right. All summer long, I don't have to pull the table around, but that'll start happening now, won't it? And my floor doesn't really like it so much. I try to be careful, <laughs> but I, I do have a wood floor that I drag my table around on. <laughs> and I'm starting to see evidence of that a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so here's our host code. This is the new host code for September, the 42SF4JVE. You can always find this on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you ever don't have it, just pop on over there um, and you can grab it. And I do post it a lot on our Facebook group right here too. So, And Sally, I'm just seeing that you want to sign up for the one-day retreat. I will get you all signed up for that. No problem. Okay, so... We are going to make some fun projects with our Snowflake Wishes bundle, right? I have to show you guys, though, the paper, too. This is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. So you can see I've used some of it. I'm going to just try to pull out my 12 by 12 pieces, I think. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to flip over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. I think I have six different patterns, right? So there's one. To, is that Miss Diana? Hello, Miss Diana. Welcome. How are you doing? Okay, yeah, look. So these, aren't these beautiful? They're all different too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so beautiful, like kind of snowflake effect on one side. And then we will flip these over and just a little bit more muted, more snowflakes and some kind of, ooh, isn't that so pretty? I love that, right? Oops, here, let's do this. There, now you guys can see the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Did I do that right? Huh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Now do I, do I have seven? Oh, because this is the same. Oh my goodness, Amy. There we go. There. So there's the other side of all of them. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit clueless. <laughs> but it's beautiful paper, isn't it? So pretty. Ah. Oh yeah, I know, Sally, I do, but it always comes off. Yeah, I think I have it on some of them. Yeah, that is helpful for sure. I agree, I agree, yeah. Okay, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. So we are gonna use, isn't that so funny? I was like, okay, same paper, yeah. We are gonna use some of this paper on our projects today. I just had to show you that because I thought it was so pretty and I don't know if we've really gotten a good look at it yet. So what else is in that suite? I'm gonna show you as we make our projects, I think. But the other thing I want to mention is I made a video. This is a swap card that I um, made for a swap that I participated in. And if you can believe this, I actually got the package last night and then forgot about it and haven't even opened it yet. So I have like 20 some swaps in a package. When I sent these away, I got a bunch of swaps back. So I'm going to open those up and I'll be showing you them over the next couple of weeks too on our Facebook Lives. But this is the swap that I made for that um, swap that I participated in. I did do a YouTube video just so if you have any questions on how to put it together, but look at, so my favorite is this balmy blue. I'm not going to be able to get enough of this, the balmy blue glimmer paper. I am absolutely in love with that. And then I love the blue sequins too. Aren't those so pretty? The faceted sequins. Look at that one is so iridescent, right? So some of them are more iridescent. They call them night of navy, but I think they're just like a rainbow of colors. And then this is the balmy blue. So I've got a couple. I've actually got them on all of those there so isn't that so pretty and then this is some of the iridescent the snowflake splendor ribbon i believe this is on back order you can still order it so if you want it put your order in and then, then they'll ship it to you um, as soon as it comes in but yes like i said youtube video on this card so if you want to know more about how i made this go check that out over on my gathering inspiration stamp studio youtube channel okay so this is the first project we are gonna to make today. Similarly, right, I love, I love that they added a purple in here too. So this is um, Highland Heather purple, right? And then Balmy Blue, and then some of that Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. More of our glimmer paper, my Balmy Blue glimmer paper with some more pretty snowflakes. And then we've got the Thank You Snow Much. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. I'll grab some things out. Oh, we'll get our ribbon here. Do you want to see the ribbon a little bit more? It's really stiff. So I don't know about, I think you could do this kind of a thing. I don't know about tying it in a bow. I honestly haven't even tried it. Let's see. 
<laughs> yes, Monica, I'm a blue person too. Yes, so that blue glitter paper. Yes, it is beautiful. Yeah, anything blue. I agree. The blues and the greens. Maybe it makes you think of like water in summer. So here I am trying to make this bow. So you could, but can you see like already where I kind of pinched it? You're going to want to be gentle with it. It's maybe just not going to make a super tight bow. So I don't know about the, you could, you could make the bow. But I've been doing a lot with the strips like this where you just add a little strip on there. And that's beautiful too, right? It gives a nice little shimmery effect there. So, okay, let's see. Let's get our parts and pieces out here. Do, do, do. Ooh, all right, I made a couple of snowflakes already. You guys want to see them though? So I thought in the interest of time, I would cut a few earlier so you didn't have to watch me cut quite so much. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're, it is a little tough, isn't it, Diana? But I, you're right. It will work. If you need it to be a bow, you can have it a bow. But aren't these beautiful? Look at the, oh, the beautiful crisp snowflakes there. And everyone is different, right? Love that too. Okay, so let's scoot... Here, what do we do? We'll put this thing maybe back underneath there a little bit. We'll bring that back into view a little bit later. How about that? Because I want you guys to be able to see what we are doing. So we're going to start with a Highland Heather uh, card base, okay, or card stock. So our full sheet of Highland Heather card stock. We cut it in half at four and a quarter inches right along there, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall card, okay? And while I'm thinking about it, all of the dimensions, colors, product codes, everything that you need to know to make this project and the other one that I'll do next are gonna be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, so there's our nice crisp fold on our card. So if you want to get anything, um, I will have all those details over there. So it's easy ordering and links to order right on there too. Okay, so balmy blue cardstock, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then a piece of the snowflake splinter. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm. we're just gonna have so much fun. I'm not gonna be able to stop playing with this paper, I don't think. This piece measures two inches by five and one eighth inch. And then I just have some scraps of the balmy blue glimmer paper. Who doesn't love glimmer paper, right, ladies? And then just a scrap of whisper white for our sentiment, too. Okay, so we've got that and that. Actually, I'm going to tuck all of those over there so I can find them. So we're going to do our stamping. So our thank you so much. We're going to use our balmy blue ink. The other most beautiful thing right about Stampin' Up! is all of our color coordination. So, of course, I'm using my balmy blue ink on my Whisper White cardstock that also matches my Balmy Blue cardstock here and on my DSP as well as my Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper, right? Color coordination is key. So beautiful and easy with Stampin' Up. Okay, so we'll scoot that one. We're gonna grab our new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine here, okay? Get that in view. I think that looks like we're in a good spot there, right? Okay. So we are going to use, these are the Tasteful Label dies, which ladies, I'm telling you what, if you do not have these yet, I think I use them every single week. So this die is the one we're gonna use right here, but you can see, and I love that they're all different too. I think that's why I use them so much because I love, you know, when like the other, the stitch so sweetly that they're all kind of similar, um, but these are all different too. I, I love I love both. I love all labels, I guess, right? Okay, uh, where's the platform? What did I, I took it off, right, so that I could show you guys what I, oh, it's right here. I'm <laughs> like, where did it go? All right, so we've got one, two, three you need, right? You guys know this, right? The So we've got platform one, two, and three. We're going to stack those all up together. And then we're going to put our paper and our die. And then we're also going to um, do our um, snowflakes right now, too. So those are right here, Okay. I'm gonna grab my snowflake dies. I think we're using, yeah, we're using like the small and the medium. Let's get those right there. So this one we gotta line up, make sure it doesn't wiggle. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna go back and forth, sorry for the wiggle. Um, I want to make sure that I get a good cut on my snowflakes because there's quite a bit of detail there. But look at, so this one, do you see the little scallop and the stitching? Super cute, right? 
I'm just gonna stick that right back in there. Okay, and then, and these, what I've found, ooh, look at that, it did pop right out. Sometimes they stay right in the paper. And then we just need to kind of poke out a couple of these little, I always forget my paper piercing tool, but those just kind of fall right out. So how about that, huh? Woo, look at the sparkle and the glimmer on that one. And then this one, so sometimes, oops, it didn't work. There, sometimes you have to do that. <laughs> and then and then it falls somewhere and you can't find it, so that's not so good either. Where did it go? I think it's inside. I think it's right in here. Ooh, there. Oh my gosh, sorry. That's like a comedy of errors. Then this thing falls off. Okay, so there's the other snowflake, ladies. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to flip this back down. We're going to need that in a moment for our next one. But I think, are we ready to go ahead and start putting our card together? So what you're going to find is kind of how um, really simple these cards are, but yet how beautiful they are, which I love, like, right? The simplicity and the beauty all at the same time. All right, so I got my stamp and seal. Are we in view? I think I've flung everything all over the place. So I think we're okay. Let's scoot that up there. Okay, so first step, we're gonna get our, get our adhesive rolling, our stamp and seal. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper just kind of peeking out around the edges of our balmy blue paper. Next step, we are gonna cut our strip of our Snowflake Splendor, the iridescent ribbon. <coughs> so I think I mentioned my allergies have kicked in a little bit. Kind of have my little scratchy throat. I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus here because I want really good adhesive on this very strong ribbon. Sorry, I am wiggling all over the place today, I feel like. Okay, so I'm gonna use that on both of those. So that'll help keep that ribbon down. And then we're gonna add just our regular stamp and seal. So you can see, I really alternate back and forth between using the stamp and seal and the stamp and seal plus, okay. So we've got those right there. Next, we are gonna add some dimensionals. I'm gonna use the minis, because I wanna put a few of them around. Because there's something for me about, like say for example, if I only had two and these dimensionals were both right there and they ended up right on the ribbon, then they don't really stick to anything. And that bugs me. I like it to be able to really kind of stick on to the card base. So I've got a better chance of these, at least a couple of them, right? I did take all those off, I think. Okay, so there we go. There's our, thank you. I can feel it sticking on the ribbon, but we've got good, it's got other coverage there too, okay? And then let's see. So I layered this one, the white, I put the bigger white, I put a smaller balmy blue on. And I liked having the points all going in the same direction as the other one. Right, and then this one, we're gonna add some adhesive onto our balmy blue, bigger. And then again, the points all going in the same direction, kind of from the big snowflake and the little snowflake, okay? So we're just gonna lay that right on there. And then I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna add some adhesive. Okay, we'll put one maybe right about there and one right about there. And then last step, we have to add, I've used so many of these, you guys, I'm almost out because I used them on my swaps um, and I've just been using them like crazy for other things too. So let's see, we're gonna use the iridescent. This is actually considered like the Knight of Navy. I think on this one, I used the um, Balmy Blue. I'll show you the difference. Can you kind of see? See if we get them in the right light. Actually, the bigger ones, you might be able to see a little bit better. So these are balmy blue, the big and the little. And then these are calling Knight of Navy, but there's so much iridescence in them too. So the big and the small Knight of Navy, or I'm saying iridescent, right? But these are the blue adhesive back gems. These are my absolute favorite because I love the faceted, you know, they look like a rhinestone, but then they're pretty blues too. So I love these things. You're gonna, you're gonna need those also, I believe. So what do you guys think? Do you love... Isn't that so pretty? So there's card number one. Look at all that shimmery, glittery, beautiful mess, right? So 
Don't forget, ladies, you put your online order in and use this host code right here. You're going to get this project and the one I'm going to make in just a second. So let me show you that one next. Let's scoot these out of the way so I don't get too confused. Here we go. Actually, we haven't cleaned our stamps in a while on camera, have we? So let's just do that real quick. I've got my Simply Chamois that is still so fabulous, right? So we're just going to kind of clean that off. Close that back up, all good to go. Okay, I've got my ink in there. Okay, so next project, ladies. Let's move this stuff out of the way too. Now we are ready. Okay, so more snowflakes. What do you guys think about this one? I love, I just can't stop using the designer series paper. So this time I layered three snowflakes. We've got a white, a navy, and a pool party snowflake. And then I used some of the pool party shimmer ribbon because I thought that looked so beautiful and delicate. And then we did, on the inside, we just stamped a couple more snowflakes. Another tall card we've got for you, okay? So let me show you the details on this one. Right, let's see, what do we need? Lots of stuff. We did more stamping on this one, okay? give you, sorry, I'm going to get all my um, stamps out here so I have those ready to go. I'm going to be strategic so I still have room for my stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? Okay, so let me give you guys measurements again. So like the last card, we're doing a tall card here also with our Knight of Navy base. So along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inside, we scored it at five and a half inches. Tall card, nice crisp fold, love it, right? Okay, next we have a piece of, this is my Whisper White that goes on the inside of the card. This is my standard cut at four and a five and a quarter inches, four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's gonna go right inside there, okay? And then we have a piece of, uh, this is Pool Party cardstock that measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch more narrow than our card base. And then we have a piece of the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that's just gonna layer right on there with just that little peak of pool party around the outside edges. The only other piece, these are all scraps for our stamping and then uh, die cutting of the uh, snowflakes. So pool party, night of navy, and whisper white cardstock, basically scraps is what you need. This is the last one you need exact measurement on if you wanna make it just like this, night of navy cardstock that measures two inches by five inches, okay? So let's see, let's do our stamping first. So we are, let's see, can I find my, yep, I do have this. Because on my Knight of Navy piece, I want to, can you guys see in the right light? I stamped some snowflakes, but I'm gonna stamp off the edges. So I'm gonna put this piece on here for my little work surface. Um, and which stamp did I use? Hmm, <laughs> well, I know I used Knight of Navy ink. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you like this card too. I was having so much fun with this, honestly. So I believe it's this one, yeah. So let me show you. Not here. We are going to use, isn't it funny now, which one is it? Um, I, oh, I know why, because it's smaller. It's this one right here. Hello, Miss Liz. Happy early birthday, right? Yeah, I think, is your birthday tomorrow? I feel like it's tomorrow. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember on my calendar. I was just looking at um, September birthdays. So, okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one right there that we're using, okay? That we're gonna stamp. You could use any snowflake though, really, right? <laughs> yes, tomorrow. Okay, well, happy early birthday. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of sprinkle our snowflakes on our piece here. Okay, so that's all we need there. Then we will also do our stamping of our sentiment right on here. <laughs> yes, you've been playing with this suite a lot too, Diana. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? Although I'm still having a little bit of a hard time. Like the whole, you know, fall is barely here and I'm playing with Christmas stuff. I don't know. But then you might as well because before you know it, it's going to be like, you know, you're going to want all your Christmas cards made anyway, right? So... Um, what else? Let's see. We're going to grab our Whisper White piece, and then I use just a couple more of the snowflakes. Um, and these are just going to go kind of 
on the inside of our card. Okay, there. So I think that's all we need for the stamping. We can get these things out of the way, right? So with this piece right here, I do have, there's something sticky. Oh, maybe it's right there. Every time I move something onto my grid paper, it sticks to it. I might have, I almost got it, I think. I don't want to do it too much or it's going to like um, wiggle, wiggle the camera even more. So we have our banner punch. This is the two inch wide piece. So we're just going to kind of cut the end of that one right there like that. And then we are going to do some die cutting. So we have dimensional backings that are bugging me. So we are going to use the hippo dies, right? The other dies that I cannot stop using, all the different labels. So we're gonna use that medium size, not the small, not the large, but the medium, that label one right there. So we're gonna put that on there and then we're gonna cut some more snowflakes, white, Knight of Navy and pool party, okay? So let's scoot that out of the way. We're gonna grab our new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Where did it go? Where did I put it? Over here. Still got the stuff on it from the last card, I think. Although, did my dies? I f Why am I so bad today, you guys? Because I need that other die. I have to find, I've got the one snowflake right here. Okay. <laughs> Where did it go? It's not on here. So that might be the thing. I wonder if things ever get caught. Sorry, that was quite a... Hmm. Well... I probably like flung it on the floor. Well, maybe this one will be a little bit different. Or when I find it, I'll make that last. <laughs> that might be what we have to do. Because it's not stuck to anything because I don't have the magnetic plates here. So I know that's not the case. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, here we go. We'll do our white. And where are my snowflakes? We're going to use, this is the biggest snowflake die. So we're gonna put that one in white right on there, and then that one goes there. And if I ever find the little baby, we'll do that. If not, we're gonna use the medium snowflake on Night of Navy. I feel like it's here and I'm just not seeing it, but I don't know where at this point. So we might just do these two for now. And if I find it, <laughs> I'm like frantically searching as I'm, try as I'm running this thing, like maybe it'll pop out at me. Did I? Well, well, I'm sure it's not really lost. I just flung it somewhere. Oh, well. Okay, so here's the one. We're going to fling that in a moment. Here's our sentiment. May your season sparkle. And you can see the little stitching around that, right? And then here is our large. Ooh, so you guys, can you see that? Nope, it's not quite in the camera view, right? So check that out, right? Isn't that fun? So... I'm trying to decide, should I have run it? I probably should have run it back through. I'm trying to just be careful because it's pretty dainty, right? But look at that, it all kind of popped right out. And I just have those two, two little pieces in the center. Isn't that so? Love those snowflakes. I cannot stop using them. Okay, so we're gonna try not to, hmm, who knows? That other snowflake is around here somewhere. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm trying to find, <laughs> oh, there it is. I knew I'd find it, the little blue. Okay, so let's cut that one out too. So that we have everything we need. Okay. I knew it was around here somewhere, guys. Okay, so here we go. We've got our little, what's that called? Pool party. That's pool party cardstock, ladies. We're gonna put that one right on there. And, oops, catch that in there a little bit more. Okay. Crank, crank. Okay. All right, we'll fling that one too. All right, now we are all set. Phew. Okay, so, oops, try it again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I'm making all those pieces pop out too though. That's good, right? Okay, one more. Ooh, I need a better flick of the wrist. There we go. <laughs> How about those, huh? So we've got our little baby snowflake in pool party and then kind of the medium size in Night of Navy, and then our large in Whisper White. And lots of little pieces, lots of little bits. That's what happens with these snowflakes, right? We just get all those little babies all over the place. Okay, I think we can put things together now. So back here, this is what we're trying to, what we're working on here, ladies. 
Um, 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 um. Here we go. If I may. Mm, let's do this one first. Okay, so we're going to put our regular stamp and seal on the edges of our designer series paper. And we're going to pop this piece. You can see, like I said, the pool party just peeks out from behind that. Next, we need our banner <clears throat> of Knight of Navy cardstock. So we're going to pop this one. Oops, there's those little bits are stuck everywhere. We're going to just put that piece. You guys see? Maybe I'm not quite in the camera. Is that a little better? Okay, then we are going to tie our pool party shimmer ribbon. Yes. Oh, thank you, Philomena. So delicate and lovely. That's very sweet. I agree. I think what um, kind of adds for me this finishing touch is the ribbon here. I love this pool party ribbon. Well, and all the blues too. I just love, I love the snowflakes. I love the blues. I love this pretty soft ribbon. So we're just going to tie a bow. And that's not a very pretty bow. So then you always have to kind of pull your ends and then it kind of loosens things up so but you end up with a pretty bow once you play with it a little bit so we might have to play with it for a moment or two let's just cut that thing off get that off there we go right and sometimes you don't like your bow at all and you just have to start over so that does happen on occasion let's see what we can do here <laughs> the, the tails keep kind of winging up the other way yeah, that one really doesn't want to, it really wants, there we go. Okay, that looks good now, I think. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can actually put this on, actually let's not, because I want to make sure I like where I put, yeah, that should be good, right? So let's do our sentiment. We're going to add some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment. So pop these little babies right on here, right? Throw those away, pick those up later after Facebook Live is done. Right, do, 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 maybe. Did I put that right about there, I'm gonna say? Oh, love this ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think I'm happy. I just wanted to make sure that I liked where my ribbon was like height-wise with my sentiment. So now we can add all of this to our card base. Okay. Seems so quiet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this piece on the inside of our card and then we're gonna build our snowflake. Oops, we don't need those dimensionals anymore. Everything's sticking to everything else. Okay, we'll put that there. I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. Again, I love working with my little silicone mat. Makes it so easy to not get adhesive all over everything. So we'll go there and there. Okay, so we're gonna put our pool party. Actually, we have to go the other way. So we're gonna do our Knight of Navy. Oops, I need, there's one little piece in there that needs to come out. Now I've got adhesive all over my fingers. <laughs> okay, so again, I like layering these with the points all kind of in the same. I tried to offset them and I didn't like it. So that's totally up to you. But I kind of liked them all going the same direction. So we've got that one and then we're gonna do that one right there. Okay, and then we're gonna just add some adhesive on the back of that. Scoot that little mat out of the way and keep swiping all of the junk away that keeps getting everywhere. So, and then I like to kind of um, curl those up a little bit, right? And then I put one, I've got a couple of different packages going here, but I used, so these are the clear and frosted epoxy droplets. So you can see these are the clear and those are the frosted, can you see that, right? Frosted, clear here, frosted here, and they come in, I don't have many smalls left, right? But I've got some small frosted there and then the large frosted, and I only have, it looks like, only large frosted left here. So we're gonna pop one of these kind of right on there. I'm trying to decide, I wonder if we want one. Oops, I'm trying to get my, yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Did I get the, I was trying to make sure I got the, um, the mini glue dot behind it there. Yeah, you know what? We have to put one on this one over here too, don't we? We're gonna just do that there. 
Yeah, we like lots of bling. I think when I originally put this together, I thought maybe these were too big for the middle of that. Like I wanted the little ones and I didn't have any more. So either that or I could have probably used the frosted ones and done it that way instead. But okay, so what do you guys think? Aren't these cards? I love, love, love these. Also, so ladies, thank you so, so very much for joining me today. I'm going to do my quick recap just to let everybody know, because this is a little bit different now, right? So this is how this is going to work. We have those cards, and I'll put these out here too. So the birthday bash extravaganza is going on now, right? So if you put in, and it's actually not a $30 order, I'm bumping it up to $50. Well, actually, if you put a $30 order in, you're going to get these projects, right, that I demonstrated this week. But if you bump your order up to $50, your name is going to go in the drawing to win the beautiful new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Make sure you use this host code, right? You also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Iridescent Pearl. So you're automatically gonna get the projects, you're gonna get either one of these, and your name goes in the drawing to win the new stamp and cut and emboss machine with your $50 order between now and the end of September. So it's all month long, okay? Just make sure you use this host code. Um, I feel like there was something else I was gonna say, and now I can't remember because I'm getting distracted. Because you guys are all being so sweet. That Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I hope you all were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great Labor Day, right? And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. So I won't be here next Friday because we're gonna go do birthday fun. 50th birthday, oh my goodness. And then we'll be back the following week on the 18th. So have a good couple of weeks. Great September. Hopefully fall treats you guys well. Um, I'll be I'll be online though too. So I'm um, working on the Facebook group too. So um, I won't be completely absent, um, but it's not till next weekend anyway. So have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards and we'll see you in two weeks from today on Facebook Live. Bye everybody. Thank you.